This is an amazing outcome. This is an outcome, regardless of how the press would like to damp it down. This was something that they've been trying to get for 10 years. You would have lost millions and millions of lives. They couldn't get it without a little rough love, as I called it. I just put out. They needed a little bit of that at the beginning. And then everybody said, wow, this is tougher than we thought. When those guns start shooting, they tend to do things. But I will tell you, on behalf of the United States, I want to thank Turkey. I want to thank all of the people that have uh, gotten together and made this happen. This is an incredible outcome. So you have a 22-mile strip that for many, many years, Turkey, in all fairness, they've had a legitimate problem with it. They had terrorists. They had a lot of people in there that they couldn't have. They've suffered a lot of loss of lives also. And they had to have it cleaned out. But once you start that, it gets to be to a point where a tremendous amount of bad things can happen. So a process started, and we started to negotiate. And I think that, uh, obviously, the sanctions and tariffs were going to be very biting. I'm glad we don't have to do it. We'll be taking them off very quickly as soon as this is finalized. But this is an incredible outcome. This outcome is something they've been trying to get for 10 years, everybody and they couldn't get it. Other administrations, and they never would have been able to get it unless you went somewhat unconventional. I guess I'm an unconventional person. Uh, I took a lot of heat from a lot of people, even some of the people in my own party, but they were there. In the end, they were there. They're all there. Look, this is about the nation. This isn't about Republicans or Democrats. This is about our nation. So we have a five-day ceasefire. During that five days, the Kurds and other people, they're going to be taken great care of. They're going to be moving around, moving out of a safe zone, which is something that Turkey has always wanted. The ISIS, they call them Daesh, but we call them ISIS. Uh, the ISIS fighters that we have captured, they'll be under very, very strict control of various different groups. But we will be watching. We will be in charge. And they'll be under very, very powerful and strict control. And we've gotten everything we could have ever dreamed of. And we're also going to be able to bring our people back home. But we'll be able to have control of ISIS total. We'll be able to do whatever we have to do to get the rest of ISIS wherever they may be. They're never going to be ruling us. And I want to thank everybody. Uh, and the other thing I want to thank, uh, as a group, I want to thank the Kurds because they were incredibly happy with this solution. This is a solution that really, well, it saved their lives, frankly. It saved their lives. So we've done a great thing for our partner. If we didn't go this unconventional, tough love approach, you could have never gotten it done. They've been trying to do this for many, many years. You could have never gotten it done.